16 days remaining until the 2024 US presidential election, the race between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris is tightening, with daily developments influencing the polls. On October 19, polling data from 538 presets, a close contest, adding to insights from real clear politics. With, while RCP has shown Trump ahead in key battleground states, 538's slightly left-leaning methodology offers a different perspective. In Nevada, a crucial swing state with six electoral votes, Harris holds a slight lead at 47.6% to Trump's 47.1%, a raise of thin 0.5 points in margin. Though technically a tie, 538 assigns Nevada to Harris based on recent polling trends. Arizona, with 8 11 electoral votes, sees Trump leading by 2.1%, polling at 48.7% to Harris 46.6%. Trump has consistently held a narrow lead and 538 predicts Arizona will favor him. Georgia, another battleground with 16 electoral votes, also shows Trump ahead by 2%. The latest polls reinforce Trump's advantage, placing the state in his column. Similarly, in North Carolina, Trump holds a slim 0.9% lead with 48.2% compared to Harris for 10.4%, again tipping the state toward Trump. Wisconsin, with its 10 electoral votes, is a toss-up. Both candidates are polling at 4.8%, making it too close to call. Michigan, however, with 16 electoral votes, leans slightly towards Harris, who holds a slim 4.6% to 4.7% lead. The same polling favors Harris, giving her a narrow edge in the state. Pennsylvania, a critical state with 19 electoral votes, also remains tied. Harris is ahead by just 0.1% at 4.8% to Trump's 4.7%, but 538 society favors her. With these battleground states factored in, Harris has secured 226 electoral votes from solid Democratic states, while Trump holds 218 from Republican-leaning ones. Adding Nevada to Harris' column brings her total to 232, while Arizona, Georgia, and North Carolina increase Trump's count to 262. Michigan and Pennsylvania, both leaning towards Harris, raise her total to 226 electoral votes. The race may come down to Wisconsin, the ultimate swing state. A win there would push Harris to 276 electoral votes, clinching the presidency, while Trump's victory in Wisconsin would bring him to 272, securing his re election. With the race thus close, voter turnout will be the key determinant of the election outcome.